another episode of Raw for Life. Tonight I'm going to be taking you through one of my favorite hearty winter soup recipes. And as you might have known, um, if you might have seen, I did an episode a few weeks ago down at Ceres, which is a community garden in East Brunswick, and I went through talking about seasonal produce, which I'm now going to create a beautiful recipe using what's in season at the moment, which is silver beet. If you haven't actually seen that seasonal produce video, click here where you'll be able to watch it. So winter seasonals, we have a lot of leafy greens and silver beet, if you don't know, is a vegetable and it's a very pretty vegetable. And it's related to rainbow chard or chards and rainbow chard is those beautiful colored kind of leaves but this one is just a plain white now we this is a traditional um, Middle Eastern soup so you'd find this soup made in Lebanon and Syria and it basically has very few ingredients quick to make and it is absolutely delicious so what I've done is I've cut up a bunch of silver beet here which I have then put into a bowl and washed and rinsed um, a few times and then I've actually put it into water and let it sit for a little while to make sure that any dirt comes out then I've got two cups of lentils I have two three potatoes actually that I've just cut up into quarters we've got one onion a, a piece of garlic some salt and some lemon so that's all we need for this beautiful delicious soup so let's get it rolling and I'll show you how to make it okay let's get this show on the road now first thing we need to do is put our stove on medium to high heat but you don't want it to be too high so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put the silver beet straight in there and for the sake of some time I'm just putting in some water that I've already boiled so we don't have to wait for the water to boil in there and basically what you just want to do is cover the silver beet until it's sort of the water's just over the top okay now we're going to let that cook for we're going to actually let that cook for 10 minutes before we add the lentils Okay, so this has been in for 10 minutes, the water's boiling, the silver beet is starting to cook. So we're gonna throw in our two cups of lentils. Now with the lentils, guys, what I've actually done is I've soaked them. I've actually had these soaked for four hours and the reasons that I soak the lentils is we wanna activate them and most importantly, what we actually wanna do is the phytostats that cause us to be gassy and um, cause us some people to not be able to digest them um, gets broken down so it makes it so much easier to eat and much more pleasant. So put that in there. Okay, just mix that through. Now at the moment, the water is still sufficient. I wouldn't add any more water, but you just keep your eye on it. And then what you do, you just add water as need be. So what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna wait for that to cook for about 20 minutes. And then we're going to, or maybe even about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna add in our potatoes. Okay, it's time for us now to put our potatoes in. So we're just going to stick that into the pot. Now, it's gone a little bit thick, which is fine, because that's how you want the consistency at the end of it. But what I'm gonna do, because the potatoes are gonna take a, quite a bit of water and absorption um, to cook, I'm just gonna add in a little bit more water. So maybe about that much, just probably about half a cup or a cup of water. Okay, at this point in, I'm going to put in very generous amounts of salt. There's a lot of soup. It might look like there's a lot of salt going in, but I'll probably say that's about three teaspoons of salt. Okay, you can also put in some pepper um, to taste, but I won't put that in until right until the end. So let's close the lid on that, and we're gonna give that another 20 minutes before it's done. Okay, so while we're waiting for the potatoes and the last bit of the soup to cook, I'm going to fry up some garlic and some onion, which we're going to put over the top of the soup. So let's just turn on the stove on our medium heat. Okay, I'm going to take some oil, just enough to coat the pan, because we're cooking quite a bit of onion. Okay. Okay, so once we've heated our oil, we're going to throw in the onion and the garlic. I'm gonna crush it just because I think it's going to be a little bit more flavorsome. So crush that. You only need a little bit of garlic just to give it just a little bit of a bit of a, a tang. And we're just going to cook that until it caramelizes. Okay. 
Okay, so now the onions are caramelized, so I'm going to turn them off. Okay, take it off the heat. Just put that aside to cool down. Okay. Okay, I think our soup is ready. But let's just check. You just need to see if the potatoes are cooked. So we're just going to put that in and that is perfect right there. You don't want it to be too, too soft and you don't want it to be too hard either. So that's a really, really good consistency when it just breaks off like that. But it's still got a little bit of that crunchiness. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. And what I'm going to now do is I've got one and a half lemons in here. Um, you can put more. Sometimes I put two or two and a half. It depends. And then we're going to take our onions and just put them into the soup like so. And make sure you get all the oil too because then all the flavours in that as well. So make sure you put everything in. Okay. And we're just going to give that a really, really good stir. And voila. Ready to serve. Delicious. Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to serve this up. This is absolutely delicious. Here we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love making this soup in winter. It is, everyone loves this soup. Every person I've ever made this for has just devoured it. And mums, it is so good and cheap. I mean, really, lentils and silver beet and potatoes and lemons. I mean, they're just cheap ingredients and you can just feed a whole army with this. So it's really good for those who are on a budget. Look at that. So I'm going to taste it. Mmm. So good. And just to, for presentation... Just garnish it like so, and that is all ready to serve. That is just a quick, easy, delicious soup that you can make and whip up in no time. And it's that time of the episode, which is inspiration. The quote of the day, just been passed by my crew. Okay, so this quote of the day is, if you can't make it good, at least make it look good. Did Bill Gates really say that? Okay, so I have 30 seconds to relate this to my episode. If you can't make it good, at least make it look good. Well, this is good and it does look good. And all you need to do to make it look good, get a nice bowl and it's all about presentation and presentation in food is really, really important. So I guess if you don't, don't think you're the best cook, at least try to make things in a way and make present them because it's amazing what just a little bit of presentation will actually do for you and that's it i'm out of time so guys i hope you enjoyed that i love this soup i hope that you make this soup i hope you enjoy this soup please leave your comments your likes share it subscribe if you haven't already done so and i look forward to seeing you next week for more amazing recipes thank you bye you gave me someone i don't even like shouldn't say that I might get banned from using computers forever. Please subscribe to my channel. I need all the love that I can get. So I hope I don't seem like I'm really desperate because I'm not, but I am just a little bit. So that's okay. And there's nothing more delicious than caramelized onions. I really love the lemoniness, lemon, the tanginess. I'm just thinking if it was off shoulder, we could take this Latino program. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. Okay. Come on, you got Frank. Hi. Hi. It's that time of evening. Got frying and... Okay. A uh, relative of um, spinach and something else which I can't remember so it's not really important. Um... Stop. And cut. It is important. It is.